Less than six hours to go before a midnight deadline to avert a potential strike that could lock out tens of thousands of students from their schools tomorrow morning. We are live outside the Sheridan Centre and happening inside right now are marathon talks between QP, the union representing 55,000 education support workers, and the province. So far, no updates from inside. As of 5.30, we received a brief statement saying that negotiations are ongoing. Now, if negotiations do break off and a deal is not reached, hundreds of schools are expected to shut their doors tomorrow. So a lot of uncertainty for parents across the province right now as the deadline looms. The province and QP have been locked in talks all weekend. Last night, they stopped just past midnight at 12.20 a.m. and picked right back up at 7.30 this morning. So we're told both sides are determined to reach an agreement here tonight. But QP workers are preparing for the worst, already posting photos of their picket signs online. Now, the full impact of this will be felt right across the city, more than just on the students and their parents. For instance, Metrolinx has announced there could be service disruptions starting tomorrow morning as employees would have to stay home with their children. No word yet from the TTC, but even the city of Toronto warning employees there may be scheduling changes in the event of a strike. We know parents are scrambling to find alternative care centres for their kids. Community centres and day camps are preparing for the possibility in Vaughan, Brampton and Mississauga. Here in Toronto though the city isn't offering any additional programs with officials saying there is no capacity to provide added day camps for kids. Now again we are standing by for any updates and we will bring you the latest information as it becomes available. 